So I think that's really the power of open source, right? We see basically a growth of almost more than 30% of downloads day to day, which kind of is a testament to all this ecosystem that is already starting to build around DeepSeek. OpenAI just made a major move in the AI arms race by releasing O3 Mini, a new reasoning model designed to outperform its own O1 series and challenge the rising dominance of DeepSeek R1. This is a direct response to one of the biggest threats OpenAI has faced in years. For months, DeepSeek R1 has been making headlines. Developed by a Chinese AI lab, it's open source, highly efficient, and incredibly cheap to use. While OpenAI has dominated the AI space since the launch of ChatGPT in 2022, DeepSeek is proving that the competition isn't just catching up, setting new standards. So OpenAI had to act, and it did. O3 Mini is its counterattack. A faster, cheaper, and more advanced reasoning model is now available to all ChatGPT users, even on the free tier. But is this enough to stop DeepSeek's momentum? Or is OpenAI playing catch up? Let's break it down. What makes GPT O3 different? To understand why O3 Mini matters, you need to know what sets it apart. OpenAI's O series models, introduced in September 2024, were designed to prioritize reasoning over traditional language generation. Unlike earlier models that focused on quick responses, often at the cost of depth, O3 Mini takes extra time to analyze and reflect on its outputs, significantly improving accuracy in complex problem solving. One of the most notable improvements is speed. While OpenAI hasn't disclosed exact figures, External benchmarks suggest that O3 Mini processes 100 tokens in 10.32 seconds, compared to 12.8 seconds for O1 Mini, a 24% increase in speed. Additionally, third-party testers preferred O3 Mini's responses 56% of the time over O1, particularly for STEM-related queries. The model also reduces major errors by 39%, making it significantly more reliable for real-world problem solving. Beyond accuracy, OpenAI has expanded the context window to 200,000 tokens, surpassing DeepSeek R1's 130,000 token limit. This makes O3 Mini especially useful for research, coding, and multi-step reasoning tasks, where maintaining context over long interactions is crucial. Users also now have three reasoning effort levels, low, medium, and high, allowing for a balance between speed and depth depending on the task at hand. However, one major distinction remains. O3 Mini is still a closed source model. Unlike DeepSeek R1, which allows anyone to modify, retrain, or integrate it into their own systems, OpenAI continues to keep its models proprietary and locked within its ecosystem. This raises a critical question. Will users and developers stay loyal to OpenAI, or will they migrate to DeepSeek's more open and flexible approach? One of the biggest reasons for DeepSeek R1's rapid adoption is its cost advantage. OpenAI charges $1.10 per million tokens in and $440 per million out for O3 Mini, while DeepSeek R1 costs just $0.14 per million in and $0.55 per million out, a staggering 93% price difference. Beyond pricing, DeepSeek is completely open source, meaning anyone can access modify, and fine-tune the model for their specific needs, something OpenAI has refused to allow with its models. This open access approach has led to rapid enterprise adoption. Microsoft, Amazon, and AI search company. Perplexity have already integrated DeepSeek R1 into their platforms, signaling that major players in the industry see its potential. More importantly, benchmarks indicate that DeepSeek R1 is outperforming GPT-4 in certain reasoning tasks particularly in coding and math-related queries. But perhaps the biggest shock came when DeepSeek R1 overtook ChatGPT as the number one app on the U.S. Apple App Store, proving that users are actively seeking alternatives to OpenAI's closed ecosystem. For OpenAI, this isn't just competition, it's an existential threat. If companies, developers, and users continue migrating toward open-source AI, OpenAI risks losing its grip on the industry entirely. That's where O3 Mini comes in, a direct response to DeepSeek's growing influence, designed to help OpenAI reclaim dominance before it's too late. How OpenAI's O3 Mini strikes back at DeepSeek. On the sort of open source, closed source thing, I think there's great roles for both. I, I think 
Um, you know, we've open sourced some stuff, we'll open source more stuff in the future. OpenAI knew it had to respond aggressively, and O3 Mini is its first real counterpunch. But this battle isn't just about raw performance, it's about strategy. OpenAI is making tactical moves to directly counter DeepSeek's rise and maintain its dominance in the AI market. One of the most notable shifts is OpenAI's decision to offer O3 Mini for free to all ChatGPT users, including those on the free tier. This marks the first time OpenAI has made a reasoning model available without a paywall, signaling that it's willing to sacrifice short-term revenue to regain market share from DeepSeek R1. Security is another major differentiator. A recent Wired report revealed that DeepSeek R1 failed all 50 jailbreak tests conducted by security researchers, raising concerns about content moderation and safety risks. OpenAI is positioning O3 Minime as the more secure option for data security and regulatory compliance to keep corporate clients within its ecosystem. OpenAI is also addressing one of DeepSeek's biggest advantages, real-time web search. DeepSeek R1 has been widely praised for its ability to retrieve live information from the web, something OpenAI has yet to implement in its O-series models. However, OpenAI has now confirmed that O3 Mini will soon integrate search capabilities, closing that gap and ensuring its users can access up-to-date information just like DeepSeek users. Beyond the immediate battle, OpenAI is thinking long-term. It has committed a staggering $500 billion to an AI infrastructure project called Stargate, a move that suggests it's preparing for an AI arms race that could last years. This project is expected to expand OpenAI's compute power, improve model efficiency, and cement its place as a leader in the AI industry. The message is clear. OpenAI isn't going down without a fight. But with DeepSeek rapidly gaining ground, the AI landscape could shift dramatically over the next six months. One area that I'm particularly interested personally in open source for is I want an open source model that is as good as it can be that runs on my phone. OpenAI's closed source versus DeepSeek's open source model. At the heart of this AI showdown is a fundamental debate. Should AI be closed source like OpenAI's models or open source like DeepSeek R1? This isn't just a technical discussion. It's a battle over the future of AI development and who gets to control it. OpenAI argues that closed source AI is necessary for safety, security, and responsible deployment. Keeping its models proprietary allows OpenAI to prevent misuse, filter harmful content, and ensure alignment with ethical standards. It also limits the ability of bad actors to repurpose AI for misinformation, cyber attacks, or unethical applications. By maintaining control, OpenAI can dictate the direction of AI development and ensure it aligns with regulations and corporate policies. DeepSeek, on the other hand, represents the opposite philosophy. Its developers believe that AI should be freely available to all, allowing researchers, businesses, and individuals to modify, retrain, and integrate it into their own systems. Open source AI encourages faster innovation, reduces costs, and prevents monopolization by large tech corporations. Supporters argue that keeping AI closed creates artificial barriers, slowing down progress, and keeping powerful AI capabilities restricted to a few elite companies. This conflict goes beyond OpenAI and DeepSeek. It's a battle over who controls AI's future. If open source AI continues to evolve at its current pace, will OpenAI be forced to adapt? Or will its closed, controlled approach remain the industry standard? Who will win? Right now, OpenAI still holds a brand advantage. ChatGPT is still the most widely recognized AI assistant, and with backing from Microsoft and major VCs, OpenAI has the financial power to keep building bigger, more advanced AI models. Its $500 billion Stargate project shows that OpenAI is planning for long-term AI dominance, investing in infrastructure to ensure it doesn't fall behind. But DeepSeek has something OpenAI doesn't, momentum. Its lower costs, open source accessibility, and rapid adoption have made it a serious competitor, especially for businesses and developers who want more control over AI models. The fact that DeepSeek has already been integrated into Microsoft's and Amazon's platforms shows that even OpenAI's own investors aren't fully relying on its closed source approach. If DeepSeek continues to grow at this rate, OpenAI may have no choice but to adapt. 
Could we see a future where OpenAI is forced to release open source versions of its models just to stay competitive? Or will it double down on proprietary AI and focus on enterprise clients who value security and reliability? The real battle isn't just about which model is better right now, it's about who will control AI's future. OpenAI wants to lead with centralized, controlled AI, while DeepSeek is pushing for a decentralized, open ecosystem. And that question, who wins this fight, could shape the entire AI landscape for years to come. The AI war isn't over. One thing is certain, this AI battle is just getting started. OpenAI and DeepSeek are both pushing hard to dominate the AI market, and neither is backing down. OpenAI has already hinted that a larger O3 model could be released soon, pushing reasoning AI even further. If O3 Mini is just the start, we could see even more advanced versions in the coming months, making OpenAI's models more competitive with DeepSeek's offerings. Meanwhile, DeepSeek isn't slowing down either. If DeepSeek R1 has already disrupted the AI space this much, an R2 model could push open source AI even further, potentially matching or even outperforming OpenAI's next-gen models. With more companies integrating DeepSeek into their systems, it's clear that open source AI is gaining real traction. The AI war isn't just about tech, it's about control, philosophy, and the future of artificial intelligence. Will OpenAI maintain its grip on AI development? Or will the rise of open source challengers like DeepSeek force a shift in power? One thing is for sure, this battle will shape the future of AI forever. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.